show you too, we're going to install a uh, rear backplane in an R720 XD, Dell Power Edge. There's a backplane right there. Got your SATA. Got your two backplanes. Looks like that's a power. Some kind of controller port. And then as well, another one here. So, I bought this kit off of eBay. Uh, it was for $200. You get the SAS cables. You get the power. You get some kind of other connector. Looks like a... Uh, yeah, looks good data cable. And then here's a kind of other controller probably to the RAID. So this is the first time installing it. We're going to guys going to do it together. So take the cover off. So as we know, the back plane will be going there. Just going to grab it. Set it in here. Looks like it's nicely in. Let's see. There we go. So it looks like this cable goes here. The first move we're doing is kind of back clean. There we go. Nicely in. And motherboard and back clean. They label there. So this I believe will go this way. And then we'll just wrap the cable through that way into there. Let's see. I'm gonna get some cable management later. And back plane and back plane. So it looks like we have to go somewhere from here. Aha, there it is. So this cable all the way over here. As you guys know, this is my first time ever doing an R720, so it's take patience with me. Since there's not many how-to videos on R720s, we'll be creating some of them. There we go. Put it loosely there. I think the fans are going to be in the way. Oh boy. This cable might have to run through the fans. So let's pull it out over here. Put that last. So it looks like backplane says A1. That looks like that's why we have this. Connector here. There we 
go. You can pop the cap up there. And let's just secure it in. I'm going to run this cable in this little tray here. There we go. And we'll see about the fans in a second. So. See how this works. You guys can see it's getting jammed. So I'm gonna pause the video for a second and then get back. Well, that was a frustration. Cable they pro provide from Dell, short. I guess the only way to do it is this way. So the other cable is running that way between the fans, so it's not too bad. And runs in there. This one here is nice and snug. It's not not too tight on the back plane. So don't know why they provide super short cables for something like this with the kit. So oh well. But we got hopefully we got it to work. I use some nice E tape here just to hold it down. This is run around. So now we're gonna fire it up and test it. Now we're at the back side of the case. We're gonna pop out these little fillers, hopefully. And we're going to insert 120 GB. As you guys can see inside there, you got the back plane. Want to match that up? So you got there and there. And what we'll do is on this here, we'll put the E6I on here. So we got two SSDs installed. We're going to wire up this server back here. And I have each NIC assigned to the switch and it's documented. So I want to make sure that I have all the right cables plugged in. If you guys want to figure out what the blue cables are, the blue cables are for vMotion, uh, migration, that's what vMotion is, uh, to uh, fault logging, tolerance, stuff like that. Um, replication is all going through the blue cables. And these are all part of the V-distributed sw switches, which are all combined. So all these are becoming one big connection going to the switches. This is for like a DMZ, which is for my uh, buddy, for Virtual Olivia. He uh, helps me a lot. And that is for his, a uh, lot of VMs that he has on here. So we're gonna fire this server back up. Plug in that. And this server is not really that loud at all. There's that. And there is that. Nice and plugged in. So it looks like I got a little messy place here. But that's okay. That's what happens when you have a little lab trying to figure things out. And we st so I bought drives for this. Just so you guys know. I bought them. They came blocked really frustrating um, so I returned them and I found another seller that sold them formatted already at 512k because they were 520b from an EMC array and I could have formatted them myself but I don't have a DAS unit or anything to do JBOD since these are all RAID controllers and I have to use SG3 utils from CentOS which all this is all RAID I can't talk to the SCSI commands to the drives and format them so So we're going to see the server now. We're going to go to RAID. Let's see what we see here. Okay. So we're going to clear the config again. 
And there we go. We see our two SSDs in the rear. As you can see, slot 2425. So we're going to build, and this is just a test still, so you guys don't have to freak out. But we're going to build all those 900 gig SAS drives into RAID 0 just to play around with it, get some performance. RAID 0, keep the advanced settings as basic as possible. Oh, I canceled. Oops. There we go. Created that. Always initialize your disk. If you do start initialize, you will take years. Recommendation: do start, do fast initialize, and then during the system is running, it will finish initializing itself. And then we're going to configure these two disks to be part of the RAID one, so that we don't lose my ESXi. And then we'll label this E S X I. And we're gonna initialize that. And that is it. Um, I'll be installing S X I, which won't be part of this video. Other than that, stay tuned for new updates and uh, subscribe for more good old server fun. Thanks. See you guys.